the Freddie Gray case, unrest and upcoming trials have impacted Baltimore like few other stories this year. And tonight, WJZ investigator Mike Helgren sits down for a conversation with the reverend who worked to help Gray in his final months alive. His candid views on justice and what's ahead. Reverend Keith Bailey considered himself a father figure to Freddie Gray, and he reflected on the tumultuous eight months since Gray's death. What was the mistake and who made the wrong decision? Pastor Bailey says every day he thinks about Freddie Gray, what happened inside the police van, and why the case sparked such outrage in Baltimore and across the country. The people are fed up on the system and how it's run, and I'm praying that the truth will come out. And somewhere down the line, somebody has to come up to the plate. Gray built a relationship with the Reverend, showing up at his church on Fulton Avenue for court-ordered community service at the food pantry here. It's just four blocks from where he was arrested on April 12th and placed in that police wagon. Working with him to, for two years, he wasn't a fighter, and, and it upset me with the rioting because Freddie wasn't a person that, that, that fight and go around and do destruction. Reverend Bailey says he also thinks about how this has impacted the officers' lives. He heads the community association here, a neighborhood where many wonder what's next questions they come and they ask me every day of Reverend Bailey do we want to make it through this and it's just like a, he was a child to me of my own and that affects me that justice has to be won some kind of way the next trial for van driver officer Caesar Goodson Jr. is set to begin in less than two weeks in West Baltimore Mike Helgren WJZ Eyewitness News Reverend Bailey says that Gray wanted a job, but like a number of the young men that the pastor mentors, faced an uphill battle because of his criminal record.